Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Eh, se ha apagado el micrófono. Okay. Hello. Claudia, can you hear me now? Hello, hello. One, two, three. Can you hear me? Bye. Yes, sorry, I have some Ese, little problems. Eh, little problem, but I'm no, right now. No está funcionando la plataforma, profe. Eh, it has some problems, but... It's like 50%. In this moment, uh, for me, it's working. Uh, but mm -hmm. I understand that there are some problems since yesterday. They have some problems. Mm -hmm. I hope they can they can give solution for that, right? I hope. I, I expect. But it's, it's, it's a situation that is not uh, from English Corporativo. It's an, an international problem. So... Sorry for the inconvenience, right? But in this class, we're going, okay. to, we're going to check the topics together, right? So well, let's begin. Uh, remember, we're going to start with... Uh, just give me a second here. We're going to start with... The section number two, right? Let me check this. Section number two, right? Okay, I have it here. And let me see if it opens. Earlier was working and it was working very nice, but now let me check. Let me check first. If not, we're going to work only with the PowerPoint presentation because the platform is giving some troubles. Okay, it's working. It's working, right? Okay, thanks God, right? Now, let's go to the power presentation, PowerPoint presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Now, can you see my screen? Can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. I thank you. See. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, well, today we're going to practice a conversation. Where do you work? And we are going to uh, practice with general WH questions and statement, right? Statement that means oraciones, right? Also, we're going to make a, a we're going to work with a second conversation that is I start work at five. Okay. Now, let's begin with the with the objective, right? Please, Claudia, can you read the objective for today, please? <laughs> In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using um, WH? WH? W, WH question words as well as statements. State, how is it? Statements. Statements. Statement. Uh -huh. Statements are sentences that are affirmative or negative, right? Affirmative and negative, the statement, right? Okie dokie. Thank you, Claudia. Now, uh, to begin, we're going to see uh, vocabulary, right? The vocabulary for, for this conversation is guide, great, 
hard time, heaven, midnight, recognize, and weather, right? So now, please, repeat after me. Guide. Guide. Great. Hard time. Heaven. Midnight. Recognize. Weather. Okay, so this is the, the vocabulary. I don't know if you have questions about the meaning of one of these words. Do you have questions about vocabulary? Do you understand? What do you mean recognize? Recognize is to see something and say, for example, uh, I, I am watching Alicia in this moment. Ah, I recognize Alicia. I understand that she's Alicia, right? Reconocer, right? Okay. Last time I went to United States and I saw a man. His name was Donald Trump. And then, ah, oh, this is Donald Trump. I say, I recognize Donald Trump. But no, it wasn't Ronald, Donald Trump. It was a, another man, right? <laughs> but recognize, right? Reconocer. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Yes, tell me. What is the meaning of weather? Ah, weather is the, the climate. The climate. When it's raining, raining. When it's cloudy, when it's sunny, when it's hot, when it's cold, right? The weather, the weather, okay. the climate, the climate, right? Okay. Understand? Yes. Okay. Good. Any other question? Okay. So let's continue, right? This vocabulary is about the conversation, but let's leave the conversation for a while and we're going to go to the next part, right? The second part of the of the platform. So let me see who's going to help me, ladies and gentlemen. Rosa, please read the objective for the second point. Please read the objective. By the end of the lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple press present. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Understand is about the Sorry, it's, it's a mistake with the S, right? Understand, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rosa. Now, um, let's start with this topic because it's, you know, like a little extensive, right? So the simple present, WH questions and statements. Simple present, right? Last time we were working with simple, uh, with the verb to be. Now we're going to start with the simple present. Remember the difference between verb to be and simple present is that the simple present is passive. Oh, passive, calm, right? And the simple present is active, actions, right? Actions. Huh? So when I say, for example, I am a teacher, only that, right? I am mi mexicanos, no more. Right? Only I am, yo estoy o yo soy, right? Simple. But when I say, I eat hamburgers, mm, eating, right? I run in the morning. I, I write, I read, I fly, okay? So those are actions, right? So the verb to be is passive, the simple present is active, right? Okay, now, let's start with yes, no question, right? Uh, look at the difference. These are verb to be. Listen, verb to be. Are you a student? And then you say, yes. I am a student. Can you speak French? Ah, I am using can. Listen, can. No, I can speak French. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I live in San Salvador, right? Okay. Let me see. Um, Mai, please. Are you, are you from El Salvador, Mai? Uh, yes, I'm from El Salvador. Okay, wait. Yes, I do. Yes, I am. Or yes, I can, Mai. Yes, I am. Excellent. Very good. I like that you recognize the difference, right? Juan Alfonso, 
Can you can you drive a car, Juan Alfonso? Can you drive? Yes. I I can drive. Okay. Car. Yes, I can, right? Is I yes can. I am? No. Yes I do? No. Right? Okay. Yes I can. Thank you. Alejandro, do you live in El Salvador? Yes, teacher. I live in El Salvador. Excellent. Yes, I live in El Salvador. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so the yes, no question depends on verb to be, can, simple present, present perfect, etc., etc. But listen to me. It's important that if you use verb to be, you answer with verb to be. Si la pregunta es con el verbo to be, respondemos. Si es con can, con can. Si es con simple present, con simple present. Okay? Now, what is the difference? with information question. Look, what is my pencil? When I say, what is my pencil? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I do. No, no, right? Mm -mm, no. Information <laughs> is specific information. Here, for example, where? On the desk, right? I am answering the question, where? Aquí estoy respondiendo la pregunta, donde, right? What can you do? Right? I can drive a car. Can? Can, right? Ver to be, ver to be. And I am answering the question what. Aquí estoy respondiendo qué es lo que yo puedo manejar. Qué, qué tengo la habilidad para hacerlo. In this case, a car, right? When do you go? So I answer a what about when, right? When, no, excuse me, there is a mistake. Uh, it says, where do you go? <laughs> Sorry, where do you go? Aquí hay un pequeño errorcito. Where do you go, right? I go to my house. So my house is a place. Okay, so look at the difference between yes, no question and information question, right? Yes, no question with be, with can, or with simple present. Information with verb to be, can, and simple present, right? Verb to be, can, simple present. Verb to be, can, simple present. Okay, do you have any questions about this? Any question? No question. No question for the moment? Okay, let's continue, right? Let's continue. This is general information, right? Es solo para poner el colchón. <laughs> okay, let's continue talking. Now, specific WH question and the structure of the WH question in simple present, right? First, we have the WH word. Tenemos la palabra de WH, right? ¿Por qué le decimos WH? Porque tiene una W y una H, right? WH. ¿Mm? When, where, what, why, whose, which, how. Todas llevan WH, right? Okay, then we have the auxiliary do. That is the auxiliary we use for the simple present. Sorry, then we have the subject, in this case, they, the verb go, and the complaint, right? So the question is, when do they go? Oh, another mistake, sorry. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Vamos a, vamos a corregir esos rositos, sorry. Vamos a corregirlos acá, yes. Where? Just give me a second. Uh, here. Okay, very good. Okay, now, when do they go, right? Next one. What does he like to eat? What does he like to eat? Can you see the screen? Pueden, pueden ver la pantalla? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank, you. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue, right? Okay, and then we have the WH words. Listen. What, where, when, who, why, how, which, whose, whom. That means, el que para objeto, right? Abstract and concrete. Objeto, abstractos. 
where for places, lugares, when for time, tic tac, tic tac, tic tac, time, right? Who for people, why for reason, right? Para preguntar sobre una, una razón, right? ¿Por qué? How, manera, forma, how, which, cuál. In this case, we're talking about option. Who's, de quién, right? Who's this pencil? De quién es este la, lápiz, right? So, who's is for possession. And whom is for people too. But this is about the object, right? A quién. Who is quién and whom is a quién, right? So, these are the WH words we use here, right? Okay, now, please, repeat us to me. When do they go? What does he like to eat? What does he like to eat? Thank you. Now, please, do you have any question? Teacher. Yes, Alejandro. Can you give an uh, example using uh, home? Or whom, Edward? Yes. Whom? Whom? I will give you one example. Okay, let me see. Uh, can you see the my screen? Podemos ver la pizarra ahí? Yes, it's true. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, this is an example. Whom do you uh, like to talk talk to? Listen, dice, ¿con, ¿con quién te gusta hablar? Hablar. Mm -hmm. So, and then, I, I will uh, describe the different, right? Who do who does uh, let me see. I want to, uh, I don't want to confuse you. Quiero hacer un, un ejemplo de who speaks English, right? Okay, good. Who speaks English? Okay, listen. Pay attention, please. In this case, whom is an object, right? Es un objeto, right? And who is a subject, okay? How? How come? Oops, sorry. Okay. Why? Listen, when I say whom do you like to talk, you is the subject. El que está haciendo la, hora, la, la acción en esa pregunta es you, tú, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces tú, a, a, a ti en este caso, te gusta hablar con quién. Okay. ¿Quién es el objeto de tu plática? So I say, whom do you like to talk to? Ah, ¿Con quién te gusta hablar? So, whom, in this case, the object, es el objeto de la acción que hace you, right? But when I say who speaks English, who es el que está realizando Teacher. la acción. ¿Mm? ¿Quién es el que habla inglés? Yo estoy preguntando. Teacher. Yes. Excuse me. Eso es en singular. Yes, yes, yes. Only yes, yes. singular. Ah, uh, yes, because uh, I, I'll tell you why. Porque cuando hacemos la pregunta who, puede ser que sea una persona, puede ser que sean tres personas, pero la pregunta siempre se hace en singular. Uh -huh. Y en la otra, eh, puede ser, ah, permítame, es que ya me, me borró esto, déjeme, <ríe> déjeme escribirlo otra vez, sorry. Vamos a ver, ups. Aquí... Permítame un segundito. Aquí podemos cambiar también el objeto, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Whom do you like to talk to? Y la otra era. Who speaks English, right? Ok. 
en la pregunta en el que el who es el sujeto, siempre va a ir en tercera persona, right? Y aquí, este sujeto también puede ser tercera persona. Y pueden poner, das, sí. ¿Con quién le gusta a ella hablar? ¿Ok? ¿Good? So, in this case, whom es el objeto de la acción que ella, she, hace. ¿Right? Vamos a poner otro ejemplo. Vamos a ver aquí. Con he. Whom does he give the money, for example, right? ¿A quién le da el dinero él? ¿A quién le da el dinero él? Él le da el dinero al whom, right? Entonces, eso es lo que estoy preguntando. ¿Quién es ese objeto que, re, que en este caso es una persona que recibe el dinero? Eh, quisiera ser yo, pero no, no, sorry, no soy yo. Ok, que recibe el dinero, right? Okay. En cambio aquí, el who es la persona que habla el inglés. Por lo tanto, aquí who no es un objeto, es un sujeto. ¿Sí? La clave es la siguiente, vale. Que cuando yo hago la pregunta con who o con whom, después del who debe haber o un auxiliar, que en este caso es das, o el verbo. Si es un auxiliar, el who o whom es objeto. Si aparece un verbo, como en este caso speaks, el who es el sujeto, ¿sí? Recuérdense que el sujeto es el que hace la acción y el objeto es el que recibe la acción, right? Ok, and let's finish. Y finalmente quiero decirles que eh, el whom es un poco formal, y que también podemos formular la pregunta de esta forma. Miren, who does he give the money? ¿Qué? ¿También podemos usar who? Sí, podemos usar who cuando es objeto y sujeto, ¿verdad? Quiere decir que el whom es un poco así como tradicional y formal, ¿sí? Pero el whom no lo podemos usar como sujeto, ¿ok? Quiere decir que podemos hacer esto. ¿ve? Who, vamos a poner otra oración. Who eats eh, hamburgers? ¿Quién le gusta comer hamburguesas? Right? Who eats hamburgers? ¿Ok? Aquí, por ejemplo, no podemos poner whom. Whom eats hamburgers? No, no. Incorrect. En cambio que acá, cuando el, el who es un objeto, podemos poner o who o whom. Ambos son correctos, ¿sí? Pero lo que quiero que entiendan, porque este asunto es un poco complicado, es que el who a veces es sujeto cuando hace acción, right? Y el who también es objeto, ¿sí? O whom, en este caso, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Por eso es que entre las, las, las palabras que yo les escribí, eh, les puse hum, ¿sí? Pero literalmente el hum es el mismo who, ¿ok? Solo que el, en este caso, el hum siempre va a ser un objeto. Ok, perdón si, si, si los confundí. No sé si hay alguna pregunta. Si, si Teacher. Alcanzo. Yes, tell me. It's, it's different. It's the English, United States, uh, English... The England. Ok, let me tell you something. It's the same language. Así como el español de España es el mismo que usamos en El Salvador, así es el mismo inglés de, de Estados Unidos con el inglés británico. Solo cambian algunas palabras, ¿verdad? Y obviamente la cultura y las costumbres, ¿ok? Y la pronunciación también, ¿verdad? Pero en sí es el mismo lenguaje, ¿verdad? Es la misma gramática, Sí, es el mismo lenguaje. Entonces, la, la, la pregunta, la respuesta a su pregunta es sí y no. <ríe> sí, en ciertos detalles, ¿verdad? De pronunciación y, y de vocabulario, ¿verdad? Pero no, no es diferente, es el mismo, porque la base de los dos idiomas, o, o del, del, perdón, del inglés de Estados Unidos y el inglés británico, es siempre la misma. 
siempre la misma, ¿verdad? Ok, okay. teacher. Thanks. Es, es así como que digamos que en, en, en España dicen boys, vosotros, vosotros los estudiantes, arfa, vosotros, nosotros no decimos no, vosotros, ¿verdad? Ok. Igual que en, en, en Inglaterra, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, son más formales para usar el, el, el inglés. En, y, y la pronunciación también cambia. Por ejemplo, no sé, ellos pronuncian algo más fuertecito. No sé. like, eh, let's, uh, let's tomato, a tomato. Tomato. I like to eat tomato. Let's go to see the Harry Potter movie. Let's take the elevator. <laughs> okay. Only that, right? And, and I, I say, Juan Alfonso, it's, you know, some vocabulary, the culture, it's a little bit different, right? Okay, good. Do you have any extra question? No? Okay, so let's continue, right? Let's continue with the, the, with the explanation. Let me see. Uh, oops, I am lost. Yes, this is the one. I have a, a message here, right? Por aquí tenemos un mensaje. Let me see. Ah, oh, ok, Lorena. Sorry, Lorena. No, no tiene audio. Lorena, ahora, sorry. Ok, good. Now let's continue with this. Uh, ok. Here. Ok, good. And finally, we use the auxiliary do and we use the auxiliary does with the next pronoun, right? I, you, we, and they is for, we use do, right? And he, she, and it, we use does. So in a question, for example, when do they, when do you, when do we, right? And then we said, when does he, when does she, when does it, for example, right? This is the way we use the auxiliary do and does in questions in the simple present, right? Okay, now, let's continue, right? Okay, how to make statements with the simple present? I live in Santa Ana. She lives in San Miguel. Okay? So, when I use uh, I we, you, and they, I use the base form of the verb, right? I use the base form of the verb. In this case, leave, right? But when I use she, he, and it, I add an extra S to the verb. Siempre que vamos a usar el presente simple, tercera persona singular, le vamos a agregar una S al verbo, right? Y negative, no. In questions, no. In affirmative, yes. La oración tiene que ser afirmativa y tiene que ser en el presente simple, right? Eh, ¿Cuáles son las reglas, right? Number one, add S to the verb, right? Vamos a agregarle al 95% de los verbos, le agregamos una S. Where's, works, pays. Rule number two, right? Si el verbo termina en Y, Ok, después de una consonante, no de vocal, de una consonante, we're going to change the Y to I. Cambiamos la Y por la Y latina y luego le agregamos ES, right? Example, carry, we change the Y to I here, and then we have ES, right? So we say, she carries the fruits. Okay? Try, we change the Y to I. And then we add ES. He tries Korean food. He tries Korean food, for example, right? Okay, and rule number three. After this consonant, right? Después de estas consonantes, después de estas letras, right? S, Z, S, A, C, H, X, or O, right? Uh, we are going to add ES, right? Siempre que vamos una de esas letras, le vamos a agregar ES. En lugar de agregarle solo una S, le vamos a agregar ES. For example, teach. He teaches. Pass. He passes. Go. She goes. 
Okay. Uh, don't worry that I will send this PowerPoint presentation, right? Le voy a mandar esta presentación al grupo de WhatsApp, así que tranquilitos, si quieren repasar estas reglas. But do you have any question? No? Alejandro? No. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell me. Esta, esta regla son solo para she, he, en it. Correct. Pero también cuando se refiera no solo a pronombres, sino que a las personas, ¿verdad, Alejandro? Por decir, Alejandro, you are he. So I say, Alejandro eh, tries Salvador en food, for example, right? O I say, my friend, mi amigo, right? My friend carries the boxes, right? Siempre y solo que... en mm -hmm. affirmative, perdón. Only in affirmative. Es algo complicado, Alejandro, pero le voy a decir cuáles son los requisitos. Simple present, affirmative, third person singular. La oración tiene que estar en el presente simple, tercera persona, y, eh, perdón, ya me perdí. Tiene que estar en presente simple, tercera persona y afirmativo, sí. Perdón, ya, ya me había perdido, ¿verdad? Ok, again, presente simple, tercera persona, he, she, and it, ok, y tiene que estar en afirmativo, la oración, ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, good. Now, let's continue, right? Ah, sorry, me faltó el, la número cuatro, irregular, right? Have, has, in have, you don't say, haves, she haves, <laughs> no, she has, right? And the verb to be is, is. You don't say she be or he be. No, he is. She is, right? So those are the rules. Disculpe, teacher. Puede subir la, la prese esa última ah, okay. presentación okay. que el número cuatro no lo pudimos ver. Bueno, yo no lo pude ver. Thank you. Okay, ahorita cierro la cortina. Permítame. <laughs> okay. Por aquí lo vamos a tener que minimizar. Right. Solo regáleme un segundito. Ok. Hoy sí, aquí lo tengo. ¿Lo alcanza a ver, Claudia? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Igual se lo voy a mandar al, al grupo para que lo, lo practiquen, ¿verdad? Irregular have equals has, be equals is, right? Vamos a hacer una cosa aquí, vamos a subirle un poquito a esto para... Ok. Ahora quiero ver si se mira. Vamos a ver. Ahí estamos. Eh, Claudia, hoy se mira, ¿se alcanza a ver? Yes. Yes, yes. Aquí lo hicimos más chiquito. <laughs> ok. Good. So, let's continue, right? Sí, abrimos la cortina. <laughs> ok. Let's go to a practice, right? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Um, Carolina. Where do you live, Carolina? Ay, Dios, ya se toda la comida. Mira, José. Carolina? Hello. Where do I'm, you live, Carolina? Uh, I'm living in Santa Tecla. Ok. Noemí. Hoy lo que quiere es pilot. What language do you speak, Noemí? Hello, hello. Noemí. Yes, teacher. What language do you speak, Noemi? I speak language Spanish. I speak Spanish, right? Notice when I say where, Carolina say Santa Tecla, right? And, and yeah. what, and Noemi say Spanish, right? Okay, Luis Alberto, yes. where do you work? Mr. Carranza, please. 
Where do you work? Luis, hello Luis. Okay, so Victor. Victor, where do you work, Big Victor? I work in Vidri. In Vidri, excellent. So we're talking yes. about a place, right? Again. Now, um, Alejandro, what do you do every day? I, I do work. I work. Uh -huh. I work every day. Uh -huh. I eat. I, I eat my, by my breakfast. Right? I go to bed. Uh -huh. I take a Thank shower. You. you take a shower. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Alejandro. So what do you do every day? It's what? I, I'm talking about activity, right? Ana Maria. Ah. Just give me a second. I yes, teacher. Uh, give me a second. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, por ahí tengo un, un micrófono encendido. Sorry. Okay, now. We're going to do something, right? We, we saw the example, right? Let me see. Alicia, no le digo. Okay. Uh, listen, we have Alicia, right? Alicia lives in Madrid. She speaks Spanish. She likes to go to Buffalo Wind. And she sings Spanish song, right? Okay, I will make the question. Listen, listen, I will make the question. And, and you, then you help me with number two, three, and four, right? Okay. Where does Alicia live? She lives in Madrid. She lives in Madrid. 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 Okay. What language does Alicia speak? She speaks Where does she like where does she like to eat oh, to we're going to change Vamos a where does she work okay where does she work she works in buffalo wings what does she do she sings spanish song right okay now again where does alicia live she lives in madrid what language does alicia speak she speaks Spanish. Where does Alicia work? She works works in Buffalo Wings. What does she do? She sings Spanish song, right? Okay, let, let me see who's going to help me with Kenji. Kenji, right? I will make the question and you make the, the answer, right? Let me see. Can you me ayuda ahora? Um, Mai, please, Mai. Help me, Hi. Mai. Yes. Okay, I will make the question and you make the answer, right? Number two, Kenji. Okay, Kenji, now. where? Wait, wait. I will make the question, Maya. Yes. Will... Okay. Where does Kenji live? Uh, he lives in Tokyo. Excellent. He lives. Listen, class. My he son lives. Congratulations. Lives. Correct, right? Um. What language does Kenji speak? He speaks Japanese. Where does Kenji work? Mm, he works a bank. In a bank. Good. In a bank. What does Kenji like to do? Or what does Kenji do? He he watch. He uh, watches. Uh, watches. Uh -huh. He watches uh, Japanese programs. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now we're going to do something. Caro, number three, you are going to make the question to Rosa. Okay? Rosa, you answer, right? And Caro, you make the question. Caro, about Nicole. Nicole, right? 
Ok. Si ¿Me voy o sí? No haga esto, güey. Te asustaste. ¿Understand, Caro? Yes, teacher. Vale, usted me va a hacer las preguntas y Rosa me las va a responder. Ok, Rosa, ¿ready? Ready. Ok. Now, Carolina, question number one. Where does Nicole live? I don't listen. Okay. Where does Nicole live? She lives in Paris. What language does Nicole speak? She is she speaks French. Where does Nicole work? She works in factory. Mm -hmm. Fabrica, right? Factory. What, what does Nicole do every day? She eats French food. Okie dokie, congratulations, right? French food, delicious, right? Okay, now, Erika and Monica. Erika and Monica. Alicia, you make the questions. Alicia, please help me. And let me see. Uh, we don't have too many people today, right? Hoy no hay muchos conectados. Let me see. Ah, por ahí está Rolando. Help me, Rolando. Okay, Alicia, make the questions to Rolando, please. Hey, teacher. Vamos a utilizar las cuatro preguntas que están please. en la parte ah, superior, no. ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, yes. But make a change, pero va a ir cambiándolos con, de acuerdo al sujeto que está aquí, Erika y Mónica, right? Okay. Where do Eric and Mónica do you live? No, live. Le Ah. Again, listen, Alicia. Where do Monic Erika? Perdón, eh, sí, 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 sí. Again, me. again. <laughs> where, where do Erika and Monica you live? No, you no, you eliminate you. Ah, excuse me. Ah, okay, boy. Where do Eric and Monica live? They. They live in Berlin. Así es, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Okay. What language do Eric and Monica speak? Eh, it doesn't say right. No, no lo puse. Sí, sí no, no, no lo puse. Different. Pero, German. pero, veamos, veamos, veamos ahí, teacher. Es Así sin. German, right? German. <laughs> German, ajá. Okay. Eh, sería. Ajá. They. Sin los nombres. They speak German. Ok, ok. Listen, okay. that Rolando is saying speak. Why? Because speak. Eric and Monica is plural, right? Ok. It's no singular, it's plural. So, they speak German, right? Next question, Alicia. Where do Eric and Monica work? They work office. In an office, good. In an office. What do Eric and Monica do every day? They Read German newspaper. Congratulations, okay. everybody. Congratulations. Thank you all, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're going to go to the platform. Okay. Uh, guardar. And we're going to go to... Um, give me a second. To the conversation, right? Okie dokie. Conversation. Listen, please. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. 
I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. <laughs> now, let's practice the conversation. Just give me a second. Practice the conversation together here. Okay, now repeat after Where me. Where do you please. work, Andrea? Oh. I work at. Ah, sorry. Okay, here. Repeat after me, please. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Work at Thomas Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours. I take people on tours to countries in South America. To countries in South America, like Peru. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Two, job, part-time. And I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? in a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. It's something like hamburguesa el paraíso. <laughs> okay, now, listen to the conversation again and repeat, please, repeat. As well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? Come on, repeat. Where do you work, Andre? Uh -huh. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, okay. Now let's go to the next video, right? 
simple present wh questions and statement, right? We'll go to the carnita of the class. Vamos a ir a la carnita de la clase, right? Okay, come on. Listen, please, and watch. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Simple present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Okay, now let me see something here. Okay, now, pay attention, please. Now, this is the way we make a uh, simple present WH question with the auxiliary do and the auxiliary, auxiliary that, right? Using WH words like what, where, right? How, right? The auxiliary do and does. The subject, you, Andrea, she, he, Juan, Pedro, Maria, Firulais, Misifus, et cetera, et cetera. And look, what? Student, right? I am answering, right? Where? In a restaurant. Where? In a University of Texas. Where? Thomas Cook travel. What? Takes people, etc. And how? Does she like? Como le gusta? O que tal le parece? She loves it, right? And then we have the verbs for I, you, we, and they work, right? For example, and interprets on singular, he, she, and it works. Take, takes, study, studies, teach, teaches, do, does, go, goes, have, has, right? That are the same rules that I presented in the PowerPoint presentation, right? A la mayoría le agregamos ese. Si tiene una Y, la trasladamos a I latina y le agregamos ES. A los verbos que terminan en SH, CH, Z, S, X, O, O, le vamos a agregar ES. Like teach, teaches, do, does, go, goes. Y la forma irregular de have es has. ¿Ok? Now let's continue. Have. Sorry. He, she. Works. Studies. Has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you notice the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus the subject plus the verb in its base form plus complement, plus question mark. Now, what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay, that's it, right? And to finish, let me see. Yes, we have this knowledge check, right? Yes. Uh, Listen, because of the time, I will owe you a, a, a video, right? Le voy a quedarte viendo un video, el de la conversación 2.6.
Solo vamos a terminar la clase explicándoles acá eh, cómo hacer el knowledge check, right? Remember, right, that here we're using WH questions, right? And you're going to go to the auxiliary or to the appropriate form of the verb. Number one, for example, right? You. What is the auxiliary for you? Does or do, right? Es una pregunta retórica, no me la voy a contestar, okay? ¿Cuál usamos aquí para el you? El do o el, el do o el das, right? Where do you go o where do you go to school? Una de las dos. How do you o where do you like your classes? I like them a lot, me gustan mucho. So vamos a usar how o where. Me están preguntando dónde están las clases o, o cómo me gustan las clases, right? So according to that, you're going to do how or where. Then, what Tania? Tania is what? Tania es un day, un he. Nuevamente, una pregunta retórica. Don't answer, please. Eh, Tania is a he, she, it, they. So according to that, you're going to put do or that, right? But remember, it's Tania. We're talking about Tania, right? Okay, now, what does she do exactly? She teach or teaches. Recuerden las, las tres condiciones. Presente simple, afirmativo, tercera persona singular, right? So then if you know that, you're going to know the answer. What about Ryan? Where does he work? He works and oh, he work. La número 5 es igual que la número 6. La, la misma el tipo de respuesta van a dar, right? And finally, he, look. What do you use in he? Ah, no, sorry, that's not the question. No, esa no es la pregunta, perdón. Eh, creates websites. Crear sitio web, right? So I'm talking about where or I'm talking about what? Estoy preguntando dónde. O estoy preguntando qué hace él. ¿Ok? De acuerdo a esto vamos a decir where or what. ¿Ok? Any extra question, class? Solo una pequeña consulta. Dígame. Dígame. Eh, podemos, podemos completar todo, eh, todos los ejercicios hasta el número 5, creo. Pero para ir acorde al día, hasta, por semana, ¿hasta cuál fuera lo normal llegar? Vaya, le voy a explicar algo así sencillo. Um, ustedes pueden trabajar en todas las secciones, de la 1 a la 6, a la 5, perdón, a la 6, a la 5. ¿Ok? Pueden hacer inclusive los exámenes si ustedes quieren. Pero por cuestión de tiempo, es decir, ¿verdad? Hacer las cinco secciones lleva mucho tiempo, entonces... Por cuestiones de tiempo lo vamos a ir haciendo en las 16 clases, ¿verdad? Yo voy explicando, los, hasta ahorita eh, llegamos al 2.4, ¿verdad? Voy explicando poco a poquito, o sea, yo no, no voy a explicar la sección 4 y la, o la 3 y luego la 1, no. Sino que debo llevar un orden, debo llevar un orden. Entonces, de acuerdo a ese orden, ¿verdad? Usted puede ir entendiendo los temas, ¿sí? Inclusive, eh, me es más factible a mí que vayamos todos al mismo ritmo, ¿verdad? Y vayan preguntando todos sobre la misma sección, que en este caso sería la sección 2, ¿verdad? Y, Ajá, por eso y... preguntaba, para no, o sea, para saber, o sea, hasta dónde poder llegar, aunque no, igual, no, no, o sea, José, puedo, puedo trabajar todo. Le repito, usted no tenga límite, usted trabaja en lo que quiera, lea lo que quiera, ¿verdad? Porque la plataforma está ahí para usted todo el tiempo, ¿verdad? Y puede ir avanzando, inclusive si tiene preguntas de la sección 5, por ejemplo, yo se las respondo, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Pero en la clase, sí, en la clase vamos todos así, juntito, ¿verdad? Pareo, Ajá, correcto. Pero no, usted no tiene límites. Usted dele, ¿verdad? Y no hay problema, yo estoy ahí para ayudarles también. Así es que okay. no se preocupe, ¿verdad? Y eh, de vez en cuando voy a mandar, este, por ejemplo, esta presentación de PowerPoint, la, se la voy a mandar para que ustedes eh, más o menos se ubiquen un poquito más en el tema, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y también en clase, por ejemplo, si usted quiere que trabajemos en el 3.2, 
no hay problema, lo hacemos en clase, ¿verdad? Es, para, esa es la idea, pues, de la clase, es decir, ayudarles a ustedes para que ustedes hagan la plataforma como a ustedes más les guste, como ustedes se sientan cómodos, ¿verdad? Perfecto. Ok. Gracias. Now, eh, have a good night, right? Las disculpas de caso con la plataforma, espero que pronto se resuelvan los, los problemas con el servidor. And see you tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 bye.